What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing the game Blockus Trigon. This game came out in 2006 and it is for two to four players. Now if you're familiar with the original Blockus, it's a very popular game. Uh, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to place pieces on a board and you're going to try to get as many of them on a board as you can and they have a whole ton of different shapes. Uh, this game ups the ante a little bit because these pieces are more triangular and more challenging. So let's show you Blockus Trigon. Okay folks, let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with the little game board over here. Uh, uh, this board has 486 spaces over here and um, you've got four different colors that you'll be able to choose from you've got red yellow green and blue now in this game there are several different size pieces that each person is going to be getting and i'll just go ahead and uh, just show you uh, what the pieces look like and what you're going to be trying to do is you're going to be trying to get as many of your pieces onto this board as you can and the person that has the most amount of pieces is going to win the game now the very beginning everybody is going to go ahead and place one of their pieces on one of these little triangles over here and I've already kind of got it set up that way whenever you place a piece it's not going to be able to contact the side so you're not going to be able to do something like this you're going to have to try to place these pieces by corner so for example I would be able to place a red piece over here and it is meeting the corner uh, now there's two things with this game number one you're trying to see how many of your pieces that you can get on the board but at the same time you're also trying to prevent your opponents from being able to get uh, pieces on the board themselves so what you're going to maybe be trying to do is maybe try to block off a section of the board so they can't get Get there now you'll be able to go ahead and touch your opponent's piece with your piece the only real rule is is that you have to uh, be in contact with your piece in the corner so let's say it's yellow's turn yellow decides he's gonna go ahead and place a piece over here like so uh, green goes he decides he's gonna place this piece let's say he places this piece over here uh, so the, essentially that's the way the game is going now you can see uh, if I wanted to as green I could go ahead and try to block off this section to keep yellow from being able to build in this section now once a player is unable to place any pieces on the board his part of the game is going to end and the game is going to end when all players are blocked from laying down any more of their pieces what's going to happen is each player is going to count the number of unit triangles that uh, they have left and each of these triangles is going to be worth negative one point uh, if a player has managed to put all of their pieces on the board they're going to get a bonus 15 points and they'll get an additional five bonus points if the very last piece was this very small triangle over here so after that you'll tally up your score and whoever has the highest score at the end is going to win and that folks is blockus trigon so my final thoughts on blockus trigon well, Blockus is a game I like a lot. It's really easy to learn, it's challenging, it's got strategy, and no two games are ever the same. It's a very cool game. I like the way uh, you have to watch what your opponent's doing and you're trying to fit the pieces on the board yourself. Uh, now, I had said in the beginning that this game is more challenging, and it certainly is. And one of the reasons why the game is so challenging is because you can only fit certain pieces on the board in a certain way. Uh, like in regular Blockus, you've got squares, so you can turn it this way, or turn it this way, or turn it this way. Uh, this game, is harder because you can't do that. So if you're looking for a more challenging version of Blockus and you like Blockus, I would definitely recommend this one. Uh, now this game goes for probably around $20 or so. I've seen it go for less. Uh, it really just, I guess, depends on the time of year. I don't know. Uh, but it's a fun game, and I like this variant of it. So folks, that's my review of Blockus Trigon. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming.